glittered sky, between the wandering woods and the fields rolling wide. Behind an old country cottage in a garden of flowers lives Agatha Frostpocket, a dear friend of ours. Now remember, we have to call her name or else she won't come out. So, after three, okay. One, two, three, Agatha! Oh dear. Maybe she didn't hear us. Let's try again. One, two, three, Agatha! Oh dear. Perhaps Agatha has gone out. I wonder where she might have gone. I'm not out and I'm not coming out. Hm. Oh dear. Why aren't you coming out, Agatha? I don't want to talk about it. Are you sure? It can really help if you talk about your problems with someone. And we are all very glad to listen, aren't we everyone? No, oh, all right then. I've lost my favourite hat. It's my favourite hat and I wanted to wear it today. Well, you won't find it hiding in there, will you? Ooh, I've got an idea. We'll help you find your hat, Agatha. Would you like that? Now, let's see. Where did you last have it? I was over by the fence. I think. Or was I? Standing by the washing line. Or was I? Or was I on the lovely green grass? I just can't remember. Hang on a minute, Agatha. What's that rake doing there? Why, that's my rake. And he's wearing my hat. Naughty Mr. Rake. Er, are you not going to take your hat back, Agatha? No. My hat makes him happy. And that makes me happy. He can keep my happy hat. How happy you make all of us, Agatha. Time to say bye-bye now. Bye bye, Agatha. Bye bye. A week away feels like a year. I see your face in every tear. The runs down the windows and doors. A few miles has never seemed more. Every penny. I spend goes back to you I know it's not much but it's all I can do nothing in my wallet but dust and moths that fly by because when needs must